Star Time School, San Diego, California. Hi there, I'm Captain Jorge from Zenith Maritime. We're on our training ship today. We're going to go over some of the basics of anchoring. Anchoring is one of the most common tasks that we perform in the Maritime world. It's also one of the most commonly wrongly performed tasks in the Maritime world. Whenever you're entering an anchoring evolution, remember the proper PPE for safety. We'll first go over the parts of the anchor. Here's our Navy stockless anchor attached to our chain, which goes through the house pipe and out on deck. Here is our swivel and our detachable link. You can tell the detachable links because they're fatter than all the other links in the chain. They come apart. The chain then comes up through the riding pole, which is one of the many safety stops in the system. To disengage it, you just lift it up, and to engage it, you push it back down. The chain goes around the windlass and is stripped off by the chain stripper. That's the gray device there and uh, the chain comes off the windlass back across the deck and into the ship in the chain locker here's the windlass system the black part is the actual windlass down there you have the gray part which is the chain stripper it strips the chain off the windlass and on top you have the capstan which is used for warping line when you're considering where to anchor make sure you've charted your depth on your GPS or chart. Using that depth, you can figure out exactly how much anchor chain that you need to release. Under ideal conditions, a five to one anchor scope will be acceptable. You want five times your depth in anchor chain. For safety reasons, a seven to one scope is recommended, and in heavy seas, winds, or storms, a 10 to one scope is recommended. 10 times your depth in anchor chain. Make sure to carefully examine your chart beforehand. Check the nature of the seafloor, the nearest shoal water, and traffic patterns. Lay down your anchoring spot beforehand and try to drop your anchor right on the waypoint that you created. Be aware of other ships, whether anchored or underway. Be aware of weather, wind, tides, and currents. Once you're manned and ready, Slowly steam up into the wind and current towards your waypoint. On deck, you should be preparing to drop anchor. Make sure your brakes are engaged and remove your pelican hook from the chain. Here we have already taken the hook off to safely demonstrate clearing the hook with the maul. Hit the pelican hook with your maul, keeping your hands away as much as possible, and then clear the hook so the chain can run freely. Once near your waypoint, you're going to need to raise the riding pole so the chain can run again. And then you're going to disengage your wildcat, your windlass, so only the brake is holding the anchor up. Once on top of your waypoint, it's all stops on the engines and radio to the forecastle to very slowly release the brake and allow a controlled descent of your anchor. If necessary, operate a stern propulsion to let out your chain. Here we see the brake being released, perhaps a little bit too rapidly, and the chain will fall until it lands on the ocean surface. And it is then at what we call a short stay, or straight up and down. Continue traveling astern until you have all the scope that you need. Here we see one shot on deck, or 15 fathoms. You can tell it's one shot by the single white link on either side of the detachable link. Tell the bridge, and if that's all the scope that you need, then you can set the hook with a quick shot astern. You're going to need to set your brakes, including your riding pole. Check your GPS and your swing circle. Raise your anchor ball if it's the daytime. If it's night, you need to energize your anchor light. And set your anchor watch to make sure that you stay safely anchored. And that's Anchoring with Zenith Maritime. Thanks for joining us. And the next time you're in San Diego, stop by Zenith Maritime for all your instructional needs.